I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about the science of facial hair. Basically, we're going to talk about the psychology behind beards, behind stubble, and behind being clean shaven. This is in support of my article over at The Art of Manliness. I'm going to link to the article right down below. Make sure to go check it out. In that article, I'm going to link over to the studies. I'm going to go into more detail. I'm going to really expand on a lot of the things I'm just going to briefly cover in this video. So, in this video, I'm going to cover four points. The number one point is how facial hair affects those around us. Number two, I'm going to talk about how facial hair affects your prospects for employability when you're out there looking for a job. Number three, we're going to talk about how facial hair affects you. And then finally, we're going to talk about how facial hair is related to sex appeal. So, definitely again, go check out the article. I'm going to link to all the studies so you can read and get into more detail. And the article's pretty darn good itself. Okay, so number one, how does wearing a beard, how does stubble, how does being clean shaven, how does that affect those around us? Okay, so I'm going to really quick cover four points under this main point. Number one, let's talk about aggression. So, they've done some really cool studies and what they would do is they would take the exact same face, one that was clean shaven, one that had facial hair, one that actually had a full beard. And the man, he would show the same amount of teeth. He would have basically the same look. And they would have them rate, what is the level of aggression of this guy? Assuming everything else is the same, anytime a man had facial hair, had a full beard, he was viewed as being more aggressive. So, you're in a situation in which you perhaps want to intimidate. You want to send a signal of strength that you are, you know, that you're an alpha male. Wearing a beard is going to send that signal. Now, understand that everything we're talking about here it has to do with societal expectations. Uh, you know, this is only, you know, there are limits to what we're talking about here, but overall, having a beard, you're going to send a signal of stronger, uh, basically being more aggressive. Maturity, having a beard again is shown as making a man look mature. This makes sense. I mean, this is why we see a lot of young men wanting to try to grow out facial hair in the sense they want to signal they are no longer a boy. This is very natural and something that again has been backed up by studies. Now, let's talk about sociability. Basically, the ability for us to work on a team to be able to interact with others. They have shown that clean shaven men are seen as being more, more likely to work on a team. So, if you are having perhaps you're looked at as someone on, you know, you, you're wanting to move up in the company and you're looked at as being somewhat abrasive, perhaps getting rid of that beard is going to help or perhaps not growing a beard when your reviews are coming up may be to your advantage. Okay, so let's talk about health and cleanliness. Now, they haven't been able to show that having a beard makes you look any less clean than being clean shaven. But the key is, is to make sure in all the studies, they had very well-groomed men, basically men who didn't have, you know, a crazy look like a scraggly beard, all of the beards were well kept. If that's the case, then you actually are on the same par when it comes to cleanliness and when it comes to health concerns with a clean shaven guy. Now, where it does drop off is if you're growing stubble. And stubble has been shown that, yeah, it's not looked as, you know, you're just kind of looked at as this person could be a little bit dirtier, <laughs> but actually stubble does pay off a little bit later on. So, those are the four points. We've talked about societal uh, perceptions. Now, let's go to number two. Number two, we're talking about employability. How do people feel? Well, a lot of people, and I get this question a bit because people email me, Antonio, you know, I've got a beard. Should I shave it because now I'm interviewing for jobs? Well, actually, you do not have to. And what, it, but it depends on what kind of job you're going after. If you're going after something in a conservative field like finance or you're looking to become a lawyer and you're in a new city with a new firm, nobody knows you, and you show up with a beard, you will send a signal of what they find is it. It sends a signal of being artistic, of being a little bit unique. Now, this isn't a bad thing, especially if you are well groomed. Again, th this is a reoccurring thing. If you grow a beard, if you grow a mustache, make sure to take care of it. Make sure that it is immaculate, immaculate, and that you don't have stray hairs all over the place. And by doing that, you can actually send a signal that you think a little bit outside the box. And that may be to your advantage, especially let's say you're applying to be, um, you're up, you know, applying as a grad student, you want to become a college professor, you're going in and you're meeting people, you can send the right signal via doing that. Uh, also, uh, again, well kept, artistic. So let's move on. We're going to talk now about how does it affect you.
Yeah, they've actually done studies on this where they've had men, and they, they didn't actually have them grow the facial hair. What they did is they had them put on what appeared to be facial hair and look at themselves in the mirror and rate themselves. So what they found is that whenever a man had facial hair, he actually felt a little bit more assertive. He felt more masculine. And whenever you feel more masculine, you feel more assertive, you usually act that way. So. Let's say you have a problem uh, at work in the sense of you've had trouble standing up for yourself, of getting up and making your point. Well, perhaps growing that beard is going to enable you to have that little bit more confidence to be able to be more assertive. Okay, so we saved the best for last, beards, facial hair, and sex appeal. So we've been pretty hard on it. Stubble's the one that I've been kind of knocking down as for all the other ones does kind of affect you in a little bit of a negative way. Here, stubble is seen as a good thing. It actually is uh, when it and beards as well. So how are beards looked at? If a man has a full beard, he is seen as being a better caregiver, as someone that's better to form a long-term relationship with. As if he has stubble, it actually is seen as more sexy, more attractive to women. Now, when it comes to being clean shaven, sorry guys, you know there, especially if you've got a baby face, it's seen as uh, well. It's, it's rated as the lowest. So, those are the four points. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Again, in the article, I go into a lot more detail. So, go check it out. It's over at The Art of Manliness. And if you want more information about shaving, grooming, men's style, you know where to go, realmenrealstyle.com. I've got a free 47-page ebook for you right over there. Just grab it and you can start learning more about men's style today. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.